guys, welcome to the channel. David versus Goliath today. Yellow Why versus David red. Versus this isn't really David versus Goliath. Yeah, right. the big boys of the tool world. Well, David versus Goliath, that's big versus little. It is? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it would be David versus David. Or Goliath versus Goliath. Yeah, or Andre the Giant versus Andre the Giant. Okay. Uh, you guys, welcome to the channel. Andre the Giant squared. I like that. Yeah, ah, there you go. Yeah, nice. That's what we're talking about, nice. you guys. We have DeWalt just came back with their 12 volt, you guys. They had a cool 12 volt line a long time ago. One of my favorite tools, the DeWalt DCF 610 was one of my greatest tools, but they left me in the dust, man. They didn't make no new tools for me. They, they, they didn't make no new tools for you, man. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they didn't make any tools in the whole time. Milwaukee was just killing it with their 12 volt. Basically, they were just pushing, and you know, Gen 26, whatever gen they're in now, you know, they just keep doing it. Um, DeWalt, a little slower, but now, a few years later, after being absent from the 12 volt scene with any new stuff, we have their new brushless line. And you guys, it definitely is a stunner. I mean, picking it up compared to the Milwaukee's, just picking it up without using them, you're we'll definitely gonna impact, like, impact. you're definitely gonna like the uh, Milwaukee better, it's not an impact. No, it's a good You're definitely gonna like the DeWalt better. It's shorter, check it out. It's shorter, it fits in the tighter areas. Now, that's not saying it's a better impact at all, you know, um, but the DeWalt line definitely is getting there, you guys. It's gonna give, hopefully, M12 a run for the money. But, the problem is, is M12 is so far ahead now. I mean, you guys, there's no bigger 12 volt system than the Milwaukee 12 volt. I mean, I can't, I wanna get into this, right? I wanna go spend money, I wanna get into this, but I also want a 12 volt bandsaw. I also want a 12 volt grinder. I also want, you know, 12 volt lights. I also want 4.0 batteries, right? Which none of those DeWalt can offer, which is unfortunate for me. But I feel that they're gonna be pushing that and going to that direction. What DeWalt? do you think? Yes. I don't think they will. Why? You think this because is they, just... they, haven't, they haven't done it in the past, and I think like we were talking about before, DeWalt's like more test and measurement, whatever, for the 12 volt. Um, I think this is just a product to help support those people who use it who don't need the 18 volts. And these are some of the most commonly used tools, so I think that's why they've got these out there. It'd be interesting, yes, I would definitely like to see the wall go that way, the way of Milwaukee, because I think Milwaukee is really tailored towards the trades. I mean, you can buy anything from copper cutters, PVC cutters, to simple things like drills and impacts. Like, that's what people so many different Milwaukee. things. It's huge, yeah, because if you're a contractor, like, okay, I've got my core tools, and if I need my big tools, I'll get in the 18 volt and get, you know, some of that stuff. So. I mean, I definitely give it to Milwaukee for their the line of tools. They're huge. Yeah, yeah. And their battery platform. You know, they've got I think th what was it? Three amp hour batteries and what is it? Something else. I don't oh. know. Some animal. What yeah. is the bear walk did? <laughs> so they've got you know I think they've got the bigger batteries right now. Um, yeah, four O's, you're getting the bigger batteries. Well, they got six, but I mean, honestly, when I first saw this tool, I was like, oh my God, it's so small. Yeah. Now I feel it's clunky. Well, compared to that. Compared to, which one? Yeah, compared oh, to this. this right there. Oh. Yeah, now I feel like it's clunky. DeWalt has definitely it killed it. There. Brushless, smaller, better ergonomics. I mean, a grand. You know, if you got bigger hands, you might like the Milwaukee ergonomics better. I'm just saying how I feel, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're both made in China. DeWalt is owned by Stanley Black & Decker, an American company, and uh, Milwaukee's owned by CTI, a Chinese company. So, both sold at Home Depot. Uh, both have other kinds of uh, outlets you can buy them, right? Yeah. I mean, where else do you get them? I think you can get- For them. Milwaukee? Yeah. Milwaukee, Amazon. you can get it. Uh, no, you don't get them on the, Amazon. The it's Home Depot, but then you get them at all the distributors, tool companies like Berlin's and Tool Barn and all those guys. Okay, so. so yeah, so you can get them there. I mean, honestly, you guys, we're sponsored by Home Depot and Lowe's and Southwire, but it's like, you know, I always just say shop around, right? I mean, I like shopping at Home Depot. I like shopping at Lowe's, right? But in the end, I'm going to buy where the price is better for the same product, right? But the good thing is, is both, most, both those stores price match. Mm-hmm. So if I go to Depot and say, hey, Lowe's has this thing for 20 bucks, they'll be like, okay, let's see the ad. You know? Yeah. Um, the three ring LEDs, I think, is really it's good on here. I like it better than the Milwaukee's. Yeah. 
Uh, I tend to put my finger over like the light. The light, the light. I don't know why I ended up holding it like this instead of like that. Yeah. I don't know why. I just... For battery status fuel gauges, DeWalt is better because it's on the pack. Where this but, is actually on the tool. But that's better perform. That's better gauge. A better gauge. Because this has four, so lights. you got twenty five percent. That has three, so you got thirty three. Right. Five year war warranty versus three year warranty. Um, I don't know. Where's that? Oh, there we go. Man, it's hot. Man. So, well, there you go. Look at the differences, you guys. Look at the differences. Granted, this has a 4.0 battery on it, which is allowing it to stand up. I still think you can stand them up on the stick packs. They're just not You can, stable. but it's different when you're on top of the ladder and you're just setting it down. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That gives it a little bit more of a base. Stability. But again, you know, I can't get a jigsaw in the 20 volt. Um, what do you guys I mean, think? You know, 12 volt. 12 volt. What do you guys think? Let us know. Comment below. And I know the guys sitting in their mom's basement, the Milwaukee experts, the, the, the tool experts, you know, I understand that you're sitting in your mom's basement. You have to take care of your mom. That's why you don't have your own tool channel. Um, so you guys can make your comments too. I don't care. Whatever. We're going to start answering those comments. That'd be fun. Any comment we should. We should have a comment session <coughs> where we pick out some random comments and answer them. If only I could read, Eric, I would do that. Well, then I guess we're not going to do it because I can't read either. I so. know. You can't. But you guys, you know, it's hard to say. I, you know, if you're a brand new tool guy right now, and this is what we're aiming this for is those kids, you, you guys. 18, 19, you're getting into the trades. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm about to be a mechanic. I'm about to go to school to be a journeyman for an electrician. Whatever. It's like, what are you going to get into? That's where Milwaukee has the edge. Oh, huge edge. Because the trades, huge. man. Yeah. They're going to keep you in the trades. The, you know, DeWalt just doesn't have that kind of established trades, you know, mark. I don't know. They've got the core things. I mean, like their saws, their table saws, their miter saws and all that. You know, I love their 12-volt stuff that they have. Um, yeah. You know, the routers, their planers, but, they got stuff like that, where Milwaukee doesn't have a lot of that stuff, too. Milwaukee definitely is for the tradesmen, but they're also starting to tap into the DIY markets uh, with their tools. We've been seeing a lot on other channels, DIY kind of I channels. Do, yeah. yeah, so um, I don't know what they're doing, if they're going for that crowd or what, you know, but I guess it's just total market domination, right? I guess capturing both, you know. Yeah. So. So what do you guys think? Comment below. I mean, obviously, you're either a Chevy guy or a Ford guy, right? Which are you? Comment below and why. And start the bitching. Subscribe. For more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.